Hi, welcome to Highland Homestay. And today we're going to show you a little bit about uh, what we're composting today and how we're doing it. Let's take a look. First off, check this out from Barb's Country Home. We got something in the mail. Hey, hey, thanks, Barb. We really appreciate you sending us a sticker. If you guys would like to send us a sticker, send us an email at highlandhomesteading at gmail.com and uh, we'll give you our address. Thanks again, Barb. All right, so you may remember from our garden update about our pumpkin that we had uh, turning the corner and heading down the road. Anyway, this is what's left of that uh, pumpkin vine. I should have started this video a little earlier. We uh, chopped up a bunch of it already, put it into both of these uh, compost um, silos, I guess they are. I don't know what you call them. We're trying this with the um, welded wire around um, a cylinder shape. We've been filling it full of all kinds of um, grass out of the yard and weeds and a little bit of cardboard and put some roses in there earlier today and now we're putting uh, the pumpkin in there and it should be pretty good. All right, so let me show you what's next. All right, so some of you may remember this trash can that we put holes in and we were using it as a bioreactor. I got a video about that. Um, so we've actually been using it as a kind of trash can of sorts in the garden just to keep our compost in. So we've got uh, some old, uh, these are potatoes, I believe. I think Daniel just pulled the potatoes out today and some more pumpkin stuff. So I'm gonna throw that in there now. All right, so we threw that in there from the garden trash can. And now we're gonna throw all this in here. So banana peel one of my sons finished up earlier today but uh, all these tomatoes and let's see what else do we have in here I guess some oregano and uh, some other herbs uh, my father-in-law and my wife just went and made a bunch of tomato sauce today we just put up a photo on Instagram of our tomato harvest that we had so far we probably only have harvested about half of our tomatoes we have a ton of them this year that we're growing on our cattle panel trellis so you can take a look at that video too if you want how to make a trellis out of cattle panels it was hugely successful so i highly recommend anybody uh try it it's great for a uh, long uh, row of anything that is somewhat vining like a tomato cucumbers um, beans you name it so we'll throw this in here in the compost now all right there we go it's in there Got both of these um, pretty well filled up. There's still some room and they're still breaking down, of course, so uh, there'll be more put in there. But I uh, just wanna show you about our composting system. It is going well. So we had one, this one filled all the way to the top and I dumped it in here. And basically the top became the bottom and the bottom became the top. And it's been great. I mean, it is really good stuff under here. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's still breaking down but i mean it is moist and warm and uh really breaking down now and uh so excited for that it's nothing like good compost even if you have a small uh apartment or whatever you guys should compost uh, it doesn't take much it just takes some a little bit of space you don't need big compost bins like i've made out of these pallets uh, i've got a video on building this one here but this one was uh, pretty much identical, just different dimensions, and um, it's it's great. All this wood was free, and uh, this compost has been sitting a little bit, but um, there there are quite a few worms in this one. Last time I turned it, and we have uh, some of our drip irrigation just uh, coming through here and keeping this wet. Um, but I'll wet it down probably once a week. I kind of water it like. It's a plant here in Arizona, it gets pretty dry. So we have that 
And then uh, under this tarp here is what was there before. Let's see, it could be all kinds of little critters in here. So it could be an exci uh, exciting video. Nope, not really. Sometimes we have, you know, snakes or mice. Looks like a mouse is making a hole right there maybe. But uh, this stuff is just amazing. Probably not all the way finished. You can see some eggshells and stuff in there, but um, it has cooled down to the point where there's a worm right there. There's uh, it's cooled down to the point where it is usable in the garden and we just really need to store it. And so keep it under the tarp more to just um, keep it moist. But um, that is like, brown gold to us we uh we love the compost and it works really well uh having a few other bins that you can keep stuff in we did have the finished compost in there right now we're just keeping it in the tarp because it stays a little bit more moist like that and then keeping old pieces of cardboard i know it looks a little junky but this is an old piece of cardboard and as they weather it's even better so we've got this box that we got something shipped in and it's getting weathered by the sun and the rain. And it'll break down and I'll just tear it apart, tear these layers apart and then just layer them in like lasagna into uh, these compost bins. And as you can see, there's some down there. And these ones are pretty good if you can keep them wet. You can see on the outsides, they're way too dry, but on the inside, it works pretty well. And like I said, um, turning it over uh, is pretty good ends up looking like this we're just going to finish it in here um, where it can stay a little bit more moist um, after just kind of piling it in here so that's just a little bit about our compost bins we've got lots of grass still but it's drying out we haven't had rain for um, let's see probably a week and a half or two weeks now uh, you can see a lot of this grass is still growing it's uh i don't know maybe 12 inches in height or something. But uh, I was pulling these these out actually. We've um, we actually trimmed them with the string trimmer uh, before, but um, I'll fill up the whole uh, wheelbarrow and then, you know, just throw these right in there. And the green grass, the browns, um, it, all, it all works really well together. So get compost in if you aren't already. If you are composting, let us know what your system's like. Do you have, you know, pallet bins like these? Do you have wire uh, baskets, if you will, like that? Are you doing something like this with a, you know, one of these tubes in the middle? We used to have this guy in here, a bioreactor kind of thing. Uh, or what, what system are you doing? Uh, let us know in the comment below. We like learning new ideas too, but uh, that's it for today. All right, well, I'm Nick from Highland Homestead, and thanks so much for watching. Just a quick one today to show you some of the compost stuff that we're doing, and I really appreciate all the views. If you want to give this a thumbs up, we appreciate that, and subscribe if you haven't already because that really helps us out. But most of all, if you can share this video with somebody you think will find it useful, that's the best. We want to share these videos and make sure people can find out what we're doing and hopefully it's inspiring to other people and they can do it uh as well so thanks again we'll have more videos for you real soon